Okay, we're gonna begin this one by sectioning in the middle of the eyebrows. And then we're gonna find the highest point of the head by tipping the comb back and forth. We're gonna find the apex, and from the apex to the back of the ear. Go behind the ear a little bit to give yourself a little bit more room so that this way when you're in the back, you have a manageable amount of hair to deal with and you're not over encumbering yourself. So again, from the apex, you can find it by tipping the comb back and forth. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna comb all these sections nice and smooth. Take the time to really smooth them out and put your clips in nice so that when you go through, you don't accidentally pick up hair and wind up overworking yourself. Now I'm just gonna connect the section so that I have a horseshoe parting that goes all the way around the sides from the back of the ear to the back of the ear. going to split the back in half the same way we do it for the blunt cut. Alright, we're starting the top section. And I'm going to section myself a half inch or so to begin. This will be my guideline. I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to section in another half inch with it. As you come up, you'll be able to see your guide just behind your hand and you'll see right where you need to cut. Take small sections, work your way forward towards the bang area. You'll be able to see your guide every time. Make sure all your hair is combed smooth, it's neat, and it's all under control. You don't want to have hair all tangled up at the bottom, otherwise you're going to be inaccurate. So we're going to comb it straight up, and we're going to cut it. Before we move on, this is a very important section, it's our guide, so we need to make sure that we cross-check it. So I'll just hold it up the opposite way. If there's anything uneven, go ahead and even it up. And if it's all good, just leave it alone. All right, I'm gonna section myself out a half inch to become a guide, and we begin working down the sides. Okay, we're gonna begin moving all this hair up into the section, and as you continue to cut, your guide's gonna get bigger and bigger. You'll be able to see it even easier and easier. Alright, now that I'm done with this section, I'm going to section myself out another piece of hair and I'm going to use it to work my way down the sides on this side. From this view, you'll be able to see it a little bit easier, what I'm actually doing. As it comes out, it is it is really so easy to see your guide if you're doing this right. If you don't see your guide, don't cut. And notice how I did that in two spots. You don't have to hold all that hair at the same time. Don't feel like you need to hold every single thing at the same time. If you have to set some down, set some down. And just begin working your way down. You might find when you're doing it on your mannequin that as you get to these bottom sections, there's nothing to cut because that hair is too short. It does not reach the top. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to cut these sections all together, all three together. I'm going to check them and make sure that they're good for balance. So after I'm done cross-checking them, this would be a good time to add some texture if you wanted to or we'll continue to the back as long as it's straight. If it's not, fix it, and then we're gonna move on. I'm going back to the apex here, the highest point of the head. I'm gonna create my guide, which I've already cut. I just wanna make sure that it's straight before I begin lifting other sections into it. And I clipped off the sections that I just did to get them out of my way, and I'm gonna begin working down the back. So again, this is just exactly the same. I'm working down the back. There's a little bit more hair to deal with. But as long as you did your sectioning properly in the beginning, you're going to find this very easy, very manageable, and you'll be able to see your guide the whole way. You just continue to bring sections up to the top. And as you keep going, your guide's only going to get bigger and more visible and easier to see. Now you might find that the hair in the nape does not reach the top. That's fine. You can go ahead and try to comb it all up, see if it does. And if it doesn't, um, that's fine. We cut that in a different kind of haircut. So if it doesn't reach, you just don't cut. Make sure that you see your guide every time before you cut. And then work neat too. Like you're going to see me here. I'm going to pick out like a another guide for this section. 
I just need to make sure that it's straight. I decided to take a little bit of hair from both sides because now it's cut accurately. I'm going to clip off that other side and I'm going to clip off um, that side so that this way I, I have no issues. I'm not going to accidentally pick up hair that I, I don't belong picking up and I'm going to easily be able to work down this back section. I'm working neat, careful, have both sides clipped off and uh, you're going to be able to see exactly what you're doing if you do it this way. So I'm moving my way down the back. Already the hair is starting to dissipate. I'm just going to go ahead and comb it all up, see if I got any stragglers. Okay, this would be a good time to cross check it. And you can cross check it all. If you're using a mannequin, you can tip it upside down, comb it down, and basically you should see like a large flat top. All the hair was held at 180 degrees to cut this. This is a long layer haircut. And then also you can comb it all up. If this was an actual client, you'd want to comb it all up and you'd want to check for balance. This would be a good time to add some texture, do what you want to do, but just make sure it's nice and even. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Mr. Eddie Barber, see you in the next video.